uh, working at it. So if uh, it would be interesting to see if Menchev can hold on and maybe you know hold on to a place in the podium at all today. That's a big question. Uh, Race Radio telling us now that uh, Mansebo has gone past Dennis Menchoff. Well, as our esteemed colleague David Duffield would say, as as Roberto Harris goes on to the final kilometre banner, the man with a hammer has come and hit Dennis Menchoff today. Well, it's more like he's been hit with a steam hammer today. Dennis Menchoff sliding further and further backwards he's got to keep it together he's got to keep his morale together there's nothing he can do now except keep going up keep going up he can't get off the bike he's got to keep pedaling one stroke after another at his own pace and see people come past him he's got to ignore that and keep going well he may be wearing the points jersey today but it won't be for long because within about 10 minutes or so this man will be mounting the podium as he rides into the fog Maybe we won't be able to see him on the podium, but he'll be putting on a bright, glowing gold jersey because he's going to take the victory today and with it here at the foggy top of Pajares, the lead of this year's Vuelta a España. What a magnificent ride by him and his team, not least of which Michele Scarponi, the coming back, uh, Joseba Bellocchi, who just absolutely buried himself. The pain on his face was enormous. Igor Gonzalez de Galdiano, a man retiring at the end of this season. Put in a huge amount of effort. Gian Paolo Caruso gave it everything. Coming out of the fog then. Up towards the finish. They will be well aware on the screens that somebody is coming up here. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's a shame we can't see the absolute joy on his face too well, but uh, what a marvelous ride. Sean, today it, it had to happen. There had to be 